Hi everybody, Aaron here with another Microspot lesson for you, this time on how to get the most use out of the new Dead Zone feature in MacDraft. As you can see, we have completely redesigned the document window in MacDraft 6.2 and centered the pages. This has freed up a lot of space around the paper, which we have transformed into a Dead Zone. In the Dead Zone, you can store components of your drawing for later use. Here we have a garden layout with many trees and materials dotted around the pages. They're not interfering with the drawing, but they are there if I wanted to add more. All I would need to do is drag them onto the drawing. Should you want to print your document, rest assured that MacDraft will not include any objects in the Dead Zone. Only data on the pages will be printed. The Dead Zone also acts as the correct way to remove guides in MacDraft. Hold the command key and click the rulers to drag out a guide. Once placed, select it again and drag it back into the Dead Zone. This will delete and completely remove the guide from the document. MacDraft 6.2 is excellent for creating layouts and illustrations, and with the Dead Zone you can now print your artwork right to the very edge of the page if you have a borderless printer. Take this cool zombie comic strip for example. Notice that the extremes of the artwork is overrunning the page. I've adjusted the page setup to have no margins or bleed lines and now I can print. Now you know everything there is to know about the Dead Zone. Enjoy MacDraft and I'll catch you again in the next Microspot lesson.